King in Black. I don't know exactly what it is about this storyline, but collectors are losing their minds. Buying up all the original art as soon as it hits the web. I started taking notice when Felix sold the first issue complete for King in Black by Ryan Stegman for a jaw-dropping $50,000. I think that set the record for a modern art book sold complete. And then he did it again with issue number two, selling it complete for $20,000. I just don't get it. The art is awesome. It's packed with A-list Marvel heroes from Avengers to the X-Men. Just me personally, I have no interest in trying to grab every page of art from any one issue. But I understand the people that do, especially from books they read as a kid or ones that marked a milestone in their collecting. And I'd imagine there's some thrill in the hunt, seeking out different dealers and collectors to assemble art that hasn't lived in the same room for decades. But dropping 50 k on art for one entire book that has been out just a few weeks? And the Stegman art isn't alone. There have been tons of variants created that relate to the King and Black storyline, spanning the Marvel Universe. Art from those books hasn't lasted long either. I'm not seeing what they are, but people clearly want their piece of this crossover event. So I thought I'd better not wait to offer some suggestions on the best King and Black art that you can still bring home if you got the cash. Before I do that, for those that don't know, The King in Black focuses on the invasion of Earth by the god of the symbiotes, Null. Basically, Null comes to Earth behind this massive horde army of dragons that begin destroying the planet and block out the sun. It is up to the entire Marvel Universe, heroes and villains, to figure out how to defeat him. So now that you're caught up, here are my top five picks for comic art from the King in Black crossover. First on my list is from Philip Tan with what I believe is either a cover or variant cover to an upcoming issue of the King in Black Planet of the Symbiote series. Tan's other KIB covers were snatched up quick, so this one probably won't be out there long. The cover features cloak and dagger with null behind them. I did check with Philip's art rep, who said they weren't sure exactly where this would be published. If you know, definitely leave a comment. Still, you can't beat the action on this one at just 2500 Number four on my list, Gerardo Sandoval's variant cover to the King in Black number two, featuring a nulled out Iron Man. This one is priced at 1,950 pounds, which I think is about $2,700. It's a second printing variant, and you get an awesome shot of Tony Stark, who uses his extremist armor to take control of a celestial before going full Jon Snow to ride his own symbiote dragon. Third on my list, this cover to issue number four of Sword. This is by Valerio Skitty, and it has our best look yet at Null. He holds Kid Cable in a death grip, with a couple of his horde dragons in the background. This one is priced at $2,400. Next up, for the bargain shoppers, my only non-cover selection. Check out this awesome splash page from King in Black Thunderbolts number one. This all-new lineup of Marvel baddies, including Taskmaster and Rhino, take on one of those flying lizards we keep talking about. The artist behind this page, Juan Ferreira, has experience with villainous super teams, coming off a long run on DC's Suicide Squad. If you act fast, this page can decorate your wall for just $800. And finally, my top pick goes to Tyler Kirkham and his fighting game connected variant, for Venom issues 32 and 33. Drawn horizontally on 11 by 17 artboard, it looks like this was pulled right off the screen from a Marvel vs. Capcom game, with large images of Venom and Null separated by the thumbnails of web-slinging A-listers like Carnage, Green Goblin, Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, and of course, Spidey himself. Tyler says he'll let a lucky collector take this one off his hands for $6,900. So there you have it, my top five pieces still available for sale from the King in Black series. Links to each piece and where you can buy them is down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are there any works I missed? If you've already grabbed an awesome King in Black piece, leave a link to your calf gallery down in the comments. Until next time, remember, don't break the bank, but have fun collecting.